Part of Panto, which does all seven pantomimes in one hour, all the great pantomimes. Mm. Which are? Which are Dick Whittington, yeah. Cinderella, yeah. Sleeping Beauty, yeah. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, yeah. Jack and the Beanstalk, yeah. Aladdin, yeah. and A Christmas Carol, yeah. which I truly believe is a pantomime and no one can tell me otherwise. <laughs> a friend of mine was working for PR for a bookstore and they were looking for a way to promote the new Harry Potter book, which at the time was book six. six. Yeah, yeah. Sixth one, yeah. And so they came to me and said, well, look, you do storytelling, could you do something? And I was like, well, I could try and tell them all, all five books in five minutes. This sounds fun. Knew Jeff at the time, so we'd been talking about doing something together, and thought, he kind of looks like Daniel Radcliffe on a really rough day. <laughs> so that could work perfectly. And then it sort of kind of started spinballing from there, that people were like, this is a good idea. Yeah. And we're like, okay, well, we'll try out Edinburgh. And then I think Potted Potter first time sold out before we went up there. And from doing Edinburgh before, I knew this didn't happen. So it turned out that he was quite popular. I've still never fired. I mean, I'd done Edinburgh a few times just as an actor going up there, and I knew the risks. But I think it was, we liked the idea, and it was at that stage of a career where I think, you know, I'd been bit parting on Emmerdale, I think it said two lines, and jobs were very scarce. It was like, well, let's do something ourselves, let's make the work ourselves. Yeah. And so. Actually, it was your dad, your dad, his, his dad kept telling to us and said, You've got such a good idea. Why don't you take a treadmill? Oh, yeah, we will. And he drew up on a, on a whiteboard a six week rehearsal schedule for us. It was like being yeah. back at school, I think it's what we needed. And, uh, yeah, and he goes, Go and do it. We'll he said, If you don't do that, you'll regret it. Yeah. I always think you've got these two parts of Edinburgh. You have the family side, where yeah. you do get the families coming out, and that's very much who we're interested in getting and a few of the students who haven't gone to bed yet, and they're yeah. always great coming in. <laughs> and then almost the Pleasant's Courtyard, you almost see it change at sort of about six, six, seven o'clock, yeah, yeah. where the families leave and in comes the drinking stand-up. Because side. the drinking stand-up side like, comes in, the family yeah. go, oh, now you go, yeah, don't yeah. Yeah. leave them. And so it's great to be, because you're almost playing two festivals, so you can be part of the late night festival and see everything, but at the same time you've got that family festival and you can enjoy well, that. We've got it really lucky, we get yeah. the line, can yeah. I do the show? do sort of any interviews or whatever, and yeah. tend to be done by seven or eight. And, and then, then we'll, we'll, we'll be standing in the courtyard. Perfect. Or falling over. Drinking yeah. lemonade, obviously. Drinking lemonade, obviously, that's all we drink. Yeah. Originally, when we were going to do Potter, it wasn't going to be a kid's show. And when we were writing, it wasn't going to be a kid's no. show. I think the first yeah, thing we did all all the as, a, as an adult comedy, yeah. comedy, very similar to sort of the Pain Dreadfuls, Pax Fun Club, that style of adult stuff. And someone turned around and went, well, if you're a kid's show, there are so many kids who love Harry Potter and will come along to it and you'll sell it. And kids shows do make their money back in Edinburgh. Not many others yeah. do, but the kids show, you can guarantee that there's a lot of children up there and, and people your are mom, to them. Your mum had the previous year's fringe programme, didn't mm -hmm. you? We had a look and the comedy section was about that thick and the kids section yeah. about eight pages. And we just said, well, if, even if we weren't popular as a kids yeah. show, being the least popular kids show is going to do, do a hell of a lot better than the least popular comedy show. And then I think also, performing in front of children, they're a lot more judgmental than any mm. adult audience I've ever been in front of. And because an adult audience all try and go, okay, no, you've done well, well yeah, done, yeah. you're giving it a shot, and we're trying to support it's nothing you. Nothing like a child's heckle, is it? A child will just, if they're bored, will say, I'm bored, yeah. you're you move on, I'm fed up, or then turn to the mum and go, can we go now? <laughs> And if you hear that, then you know you're crushed. And so they're happy, they'll laugh at stuff, and they'll be so receptive. If they don't like it, they'll let you know yeah. quickly that they don't like it. And as long as this words begin with P, we'll carry on potting. Yeah, absolutely. Potted passion next. Potted time. passion, yeah, great. Yeah. <laughs> All the life of Christ, <laughs> an hour. Just the last week. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure that would be a brilliant thing. You know that boundary you asked about before? I could be Jesus. There's where, there's where the boundary is.